It is time. Yup, yup. For my segment. My favorite segment. To be or, or not, not to be. be. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, uh. I mean that can't get it shot. Hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful for today. Take this to be review it. <laughs> <laughs> Take this to be a review. review it. <laughs> that was good. So uh, on to be or not to be, we take a look at a Tubi film because it's watching Tubi movies is one of my favorite pastimes and my current times. So we take a look at a film and I rate it on five different categories. Those categories are digital slash visual quality, audio quality, the soundtrack, the actor, and the plot. Uh, I take those categories and I grade them by Kool-Aid cups because I enjoy Kool-Aid, as you'll see later on when we go to Keenan segment. Uh, so we have one to five Kool-Aid cups, one being the less, five being the most you can get. So we're going to start things off. Colin and your HISD education. <laughs> can we uh, add these up? I got you. It, it All took, right. It took one class for four years at UT, so. <laughs> It's some my, special program. Not too much. My boy graduated from UT. He's a proud UT. Yeah, I can tell you, he graduated. He just was in one class for four years. <laughs> Go ahead, nah. bro. But this week, we take a look at. It wasn't the, math. <laughs> nah. This week, we take a look at the film Gunplay. Uh, this is a recent, recent release that features my boy Dom. Uh, if y'all watch Black Ink, he was on Black Ink Detroit. Okay. Chicago. Chicago, yeah, my bad. Which is kind of cool because he went from, you know, tatting or piercing, whatever he was doing there, to, you know, being a decent actor. So, shout out to him. Uh, so, we'll start with the digital visual quality of the movie. It was decent. Uh, they had some money behind it. So, besides, like, the really fake gunshots or <laughs> the really fake times when people get shot or something like that, like... One woman got her head blew off with a shotgun and looked incredibly fake. Like, Damn. I th- I don't know. It must cost a lot to have realistic gun violence in movies. So, but besides that, man, the visual quality was decent. Man, I'm gonna have to give that a good old four point five. The audio quality, wasn't a fan of it. Um, so to me, it kind of seemed like they recorded the whole movie afterwards and laid a track on top of it. So it was, it was cool in some instances where you could tell they was outside and they were real windy. You didn't hear no wind. You heard them speaking. But at the same time, I kind of felt like, you know how you click on a foreign movie and it's like they done dubbed the U.S. version over it. <laughs> so so it's it like, match. yeah, even if it matched, you can tell it's not them saying it at that time. So audio quality, man, I, I see what y'all try to do, but I'm going to have to get at a good old 3.5. Um, the soundtrack. I don't remember one song from this, so it wasn't anything memorable. So it wasn't horrible because I didn't remember it being bad. It wasn't great because I didn't feel like, man, this song really goes with this. So let's just get at a three. We're going to meet it right in the middle of three. Acting. Um, it's a Tubi movie. Not taking that away. I love Tubi. I hate when people be like, oh, that person is a Tubi actor because you shouldn't disrespect these people like that. They either actor or they not. However, it's some really bad acting in this movie on some people's part. For one, uh, I don't grade the cast in this movie, but I don't appreciate the fact y'all got these old ass people playing high school kids. (laughs) (laughs) These people were clearly in their 30s and 40s (laughs) playing high school kids and Dumb was supposed to be their daddy. Now they look the same age, if not older than Dumb. (laughs) So how is he their daddy and they in high school? I don't get it. I don't get it either, man. I don't get it. It was definitely somebody uh, was over this movie and was like, are you trying to act? <laughs> I got, they I put got the a part homies on. Yeah, I got a part for Cousins you. and shit. Yeah, it was... Y'all out of line for that, man. Come <laughs> on, man. Y'all, y'all know, man. I'm always putting your people on, man. But come on. Like, y'all could have thought of a different role from them or, or something like made them they, they brothers or they cousins or something, <laughs> but not they kids, bro. That's like That's me, wild. me and Colin going somewhere and it's like, yeah, this my son. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you know, I was in the army. I came back. He was like this. <laughs> Maybe we should make the worst uh, to be movie that anybody can make and make Colin your son in the movie. <laughs> and call him buddy and say that he's 12. <laughs> be like, uh, don't be a menace in the hood while drinking your right. drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how it was, man. But 
Yeah, and then some of the acting, man, they act real tough, man. But I'm gonna give acting a three point five as well. Uh, plot, it was solid. I don't want to tell too much about the movie. Kind of some unbelievable stuff happens in there, like your wife is an undercover FBI agent for ten years, and you don't know. Never knew. Okay, all right. You never know. Hmm. Or your husband is a kingpin drug lord of a, a mafia. You don't know. Uh, but so the plot, man, I'm gonna get at a. Four. It was it was original to say the least. So I'm gonna add those five things up. Three point seven. A three point seven Kool Aid cups for the movie Gunplay. Three point seven, y'all. Three point seven. But man, if y'all on Tubi, check it out. Gunplay, man. Run up them views so they can get paid, so they can get that check. Again, the movie is called Gunplay. Y'all check it out on Tubi.